everyone is talking about the launch of ChatGPT5. But is it really worth all the hype? I have served as CEO, board member, built billion dollar tech companies, but even I wasn't ready for this. We're all catastrophically unprepared for what's coming. So here are five ways GPT-5 is reshaping everything. First up, compared to the holy shit moments at Google's AI launches, the GPT-5 launch was more like a high school band concert. Awkward and underwhelming at times, but if you looked closely, some very serious things were hiding behind that obviously boring presentation. First, GPT-5 is now a router model. So now you don't have to pick between GPT 3.5 versus 4 versus 4.0 versus whatever. You just describe the outcome you want. It will route your request to the right model. And now, 700 million users start using it, right? For free. That routing then becomes a huge data gathering flywheel. It will make the next model smarter at even faster rate. Second, the model is much cleaner now. Hallucinations are down dramatically. Now it feels like it's ready for some prime time real work. And third, code generation. It seems like GPT-5 has caught up to rivals like Claude and Gemini in writing solid front end code. And here's what they didn't spotlight. GPT-5 is already solving PhD level problems in math and science. Things like number theory, algebraic geometry, topology, the kind of abstract challenges that take professional mathematicians weeks and weeks to solve. So in two years, it could handle maybe 80% of such frontier level problems. Second, GPT-5 changes how we work. It plugs in directly into your life. It behaves like a chief of staff, reading context, proposing next step, and taking small actions. Imagine this, you wake up one morning and you hear this. Hey, I rearranged your calendar to fit in a 45 minute run. GPT-5 now comes with study and learn mode. In that mode, GPT-5 becomes your co-thinker. It will walk you through the hardest material with the expertise and patience no human could match. And pretty soon, AI will be coordinating multiple agents to get things done for you. Let's say you are thinking of buying a house. One agent finds properties. Another runs buy versus build analysis. A third checks zoning laws. A fourth negotiates price. A fifth designs the house, six finds the contractors, and a seven sues them when they're delivering late. Every step of the process becomes a relay race of AI specialists. So what do we do? <laughs> Try this right now. Connect your AI to your email and calendar, and then tell your AI, find five people I should reconnect with. Book time for calls, research them, and prep what I should say, and then see what happens. Third, the biggest GPT-5 headline isn't a benchmark. It's the collapse in the cost of intelligence. A year ago, it cost about $75 to feed a million words into GPT-4.5. With GPT-5, it's about $1.25. A 98% drop. That's crazy. The AI price wars have begun. Everyone's watching the Pareto cost frontier. Better performance? at the same or lower price. If Google matches GPT-5's capabilities for less, the market could flip overnight. The same is true in reverse as well. And here's why it matters. This kind of price crash levels the playing field. Small teams and solo builders can now compete with giants. In AI, price per unit of intelligence can be as important as the intelligence itself. So what do we do? Try this for now. Whatever it is that you wanted to start or build, do it now. If you have that business idea you've been dying to explore, or you're hungry to make a career changing impact at work, now is your moment. Today's AI at today's price can dramatically change the way you build anything. Fourth, the safest jobs in the next decade, floor sanders, roofers, massage therapists, Notice what's missing? Your office job. On Monday, AI could replace 30% of your team. And on Tuesday, it could diagnose your mom's cancer. Same technology, 
two very different outcomes. GPT-5 exceeded expert level performance in 50% of the cases in 40 plus occupations like law, engineering, sales, logistics. It's happening already. Amazon is already running million robots in its warehouse. Today, when I walk through any office tower and I see insurance brokers and analysts and accountants and paralegals, and I picture half of those desks empty in five years. Within five years, AI will be more intelligent than the sum of all human intelligence. Job displacement will be brutal and inevitable. But then you also see the silver lining. A friend of mine was driving when one side of his face just went numb. Hours later, he learned that he had brain tumors. We're not very good at knowing what's going on inside our own bodies. And that's exactly where AI can change the game. In one recent trial, AI diagnosed the toughest medical cases with 85% accuracy. Human doctors, 20%. AI removes human biases and inaccuracies in health and in science. So the biggest breakthroughs in human history may not come from humans at all. Number five, human purpose and meaning. When machines are smarter than us, what's left for us to do? Our need for purpose and meaning is limitless. And so is our creativity, our drive to be useful, our desire to help others. So even if AI surpasses us, and it will, we will find our purpose and meaning in that world. Two things are clear. First, we've never seen change happen this fast. Second, no one knows exactly what's coming next. You cannot stop this. Here are the three things that you can try. First, please get fluent with AI. Use whatever you have, GPT-5, Gemini 2.5, Grok 4, Claude 4.1, DeepSeek, it just doesn't matter. Use it daily, use it to solve your real work problems. Second, learn the limits. So push these systems to the edge of what's possible. Learn what they're not good at. That intuition will serve you very well in that future. And finally, learn to love the hard things. This is more psychological than tactical, but we'll have to be grateful for all the setbacks, the pivots, the chaos, and the drama that's coming our way, because it is coming. So find a way to accept what's in front of you and ignore what you can't change. If you like this video, hey, please subscribe to this channel. Stay hopeful, stay human. Thank you and I love you.